gonna make the profiles boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. It's what it is. You already know what it is right here. What it is, it's a bedtime story. Yes, we're gonna get definitely into a real life bedtime story, man. Some that happened, some that kept it to cracking, some that was boom batting, hats were getting flattened. You already know what it is. Hearts were getting splattened. Hey, manual style, direct fashion, same thing. You know I gotta keep it real of the real deal, holy filled with two ears over here. No added preservatives and no fakery. Now trip out. This bedtime story is a little different. Besides gang, kids, I rock differently sometimes. This one involves what did I say? The black rhino, right? What did the rhino? Now I used to work at this job, and uh, there was this one bottle, straight up maniaco, right? Every time he would come to work, he'd tell me stories. Hey, bro, trip out on this. What happened? Last night, I had me six tortas, a midget, and two fucking gro- I'd be like, what, for reals? And I always thought that he was he was faking the funk. I always thought, I like listening to his stories because you know when you got a bottle that can tell a good story? You're going to kick back. You're going to call bullshit. It's a whole lot of fakery, but at the end of the day, it's enjoyment, it's entertainment. Why not? You know, I looked up at them, never heard nobody. So the Vata would tell me her stories and they started to become more elaborate. And I was like, watch out, the midget was hanging from her, my, she was doing dips and pull up. And I'm like, okay, all right, guard, come get this J cat up out of here. Um, but at the same time, some of his stories rang true. So one day I got at him, you know, I was on my Yako too. I said, oh, you got any tortas you can lend me? You don't have to give them to me, just like lend me. So I was like, like, like I got, what do you need? And, and you know what I need, like hook me up. And he was like, nah, bro, there's a secret to my success. And I said, well, what is it? Let me know, Holmes. Because at this point in time, it's drought season. And the wind hasn't been blowing for a few days now. And so I just gave my 11 damn struck to a 10 and three quarters. It's, 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 it's a rough situation. So what's going on? He was like, the black rhino. I was like, what is that? And uh, he wouldn't tell me too much. Just that I needed to inquire and Google the rhino and, and do my own fucking research. And so I just whatever I came up with, that's what it was. So, of course, the Googleization was real. I kicked back on my motherfucking cama one night and I started to Google the rhino, right? And I was seeing a lot of hate, a lot of hate or hate on the rhino and a lot of good goodness with it. Um, I'm not here to say go use that, right? Um, one thing I will say was that I indulged a timer three. And it was always spectacular with my vernacular, right? The way it worked out, worked out fine for me. So, anyways... After I Googled it, I went back to work. My holiday the next day, I told me, I looked it up, fool. Hey, what is that, man? Let me know how. He said, no, nah, that shit will get you fucking hard, eh? Don't trip, right? So he was like, man, I'll be having eight hours of fun, right? And I was like, okay, well, I might have to indulge a, a few times and see what it does for me. Um, it definitely made me more confident, right? And I was I was definitely uh, with the business. So I had to go to a little Asian fucking uh, supermarket to go find this. I found it. It was behind the glass. And let me, I'll take that one. The, 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 the Power Man 5000, yeah, the, the, the 6500, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, the, the Mega Beats or Mega Bite. I'll take that one. So, I was kidding, so, of course, I got home, popped them one time from my mind, low, low orange juice, you know what I mean, to keep it going. I thought it was acid and shit. And anyways, I did it, and I went to a little club. Let me tell you something about that club that night. The, it was a fucking tornado in that motherfucker because there was tortas everywhere. You know what I mean? That's the way it has to be because that's the way I like it. I was getting my wiggle on in there. The wiggleization was real. Um, and I, now the pillowization was real. So I'm, I'm starting to feel some effect. My, shit, my meat, was, you know what I mean? It was, it, was, it, was, it was there. You know, it was there. It was, it was prime. It was prime choice. So um, I remember this one thought that she came up. She wasn't, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to lie. She was ugly, right? But at this point, um, you know, I, I needed to test the waters to make sure uh, the water was just fine. So Sasuke, I dipped my toe in. So anyways, I started popping at her. She was like, what's up? Her name was Megan. All right, Megan, if you're watching this, I think I'm going to tell the story. You know what I mean? Woo, with all the glory. So I'm kicking it with her. And she was like, yes, the first time I came to this club, it's popping, it's cracking. There was like maybe 10 bottles and 20 tortas. So it wasn't really popping. But she didn't really know what this club entailed. And Sasuke, I'm over here on fucking the rhino. So I'm like, oh, man. Oh, I mean, we can leave here anytime you want and go kick it. I'm being a super maniaco. I'm, I'm getting straight to the gusto. I'm going straight for it. Because I'm not going to sit here and bullshit and act like I wanted to hang out with all these tortas. I really wanted to just get straight to it. And our business. I'm going to see what the rhino do one time and get my rhinoceros on and then bounce. Um, but we kicked it. We kicked it. We had a few drinks. And the whole time, hence, my shit was on. <laughs> Hard status, right? So I'm kicking back and I'm, I'm my knee's shaking. I'm like, man, I need to get out of here because it's giving me a whole bunch of energy. I, I need to get out of here. I need to... To what degree of out of here? The, you know, I'm trying to get in there to get out of here so we can get out of there and get in there, right? So about the end of the night, 
His Highness hits me with like, oh, I guess I got to call my Uber. And she's looking at me like, wink, 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 right? And now my Uber, my Uberization, when it comes to my car, ain't really like that. You know, I don't really get my Lyft and Uber on. But at the same time, you know what I mean? I understood what she was insinuating. So she was like, yeah, I guess I got to call me an Uber, right? And I was thinking, does this think I'm really going to pay for her Uber? She got me messed up. See, the way my credit card game goes, um, I don't have one, you know? So I was like, look, trip out. Um, I can't give you a ride. She was like, oh, really, though? Now, I ain't even going to lie. Throughout the night, I've been feeling on the night, guys. Big night, guys. I was over here. I was way over here in the Pacific, to be specific, over here in the Atlantic. That's how far of a distance that Nalga cheek was, right? But I was getting my nal my nal going on, right? <laughs> and uh, she was about a good, uh, I'm not even going to lie, man. She's 280, 285, right? Five, six. So she was all right. So she was like, hey, uh, yeah, you can take me to my pad. I don't live too far. So boom, we jumped in the whip. We're slapping. Uh, gonna make the beat go boom, 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 right? She's getting all, ooh, shit, I like the way that feels. I'm getting, my shit is harder than a rock. It's down to the knee bone connected to the thigh bone. I'm like, man, where does this bit live? I'm just trying to put it in one time and get on down the road. You know, hopefully no one sees me. And so, guard, do they see me? I see you. Uh, shit, I wish not. Anyways, we pull up to her pad. She got this nice little apartment. So we, we hit the stairs one time. We're up in there, right? So I tried to be the nice guy and kick on back in the living room. And this hiney was like, uh, you want to see my room? I said, shit, does a bear shit in the woods? You use the cocktail thumper as, a, as toilet paper? Hell yeah, I do, right? So I went into her room and I remember she had pictures everywhere of like Bob Marley and shit. And I was like, oh, she want her a black man. Well, she don't know what she done found tonight. Cause so I was like, I'm on the black rhino, right? I was about to give her the, the, the motherfucking, hey, uh, what is it? I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the deputy. I was about to get my motherfucking Jamaican on. I was in that motherfucker swinging like, welcome to the island, right? So she's like, what's up? I lay on her bed all smooth. I'm like, what's, what's up, right? <laughs> I hit her with the what's happening. And she was definitely into it. Um, She was like, you want to drink something? So you know how the white girls do. She poured me a little vodka, a little whatever it is, whatever it is was with it. I didn't know. Um, So we ended up uh, sipping a little bit and then we got straight to the business. Now, let me tell you guys. When the homeboy had told me about midget swinging and everything, that was all in his mentality, I guess. That was in his mind. He was imagining that shit. But it was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I started to get on a binge. I started to, to pop those motherfuckers like them scanning Skittles, right? The skittleization was real with these. I was doing that, like, in, in real life. Um, It just worked out great for me, right? So, anyways, I ended up fucking killing Megan's whole nalga, the one that I could work with, right? And there was two of them, but so I was, uh, we're going to have to do a part two because I have to get to part two with that. You know, that's how big, you know, you just split it and hit it before you quit it. So anyways, I do my thing. I jam. She's happy. She calls me the next day. I was actually going to Vegas about that time. So she was like, oh, you should send me some pictures. <laughs> Bitch, you don't get no pictures. I scratch your name off the telephone. But <laughs> never guard. Does she get a second look? Spencer, Natira. No way, Jose. So bam, I bounce. Uh, never again to to uh, even know what she if she's alive or not. I hope she is though. Anyways, but the Naga was nice. So I start to get involved in it. So I call the homeboy and I was like, hey, fool, that shit was the real deal. I told you, fool. I told you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're over here bullshit. You wouldn't even, man, I, I, bro, I'm, I stamp it. I said, yeah, yeah, that was, that was, that was different, bro. I mean, I was able to uh, last longer and go harder in the paint and, you know what I mean? I felt like Kobe and Shaq. You know what I mean? He was like, oh, no, I don't know what that, uh, you know, that analysis means, but at the same time, you know what I mean? As long as you had fun, that's what matters. So look, I tell the homeboy, hey, let's go to a spot. So he's like, yeah, we're, hey, he goes like, I know there's there's a spot that I know of. And I said, for real? So he said, yeah, it's like a, it's like a, a swingers club. I said, what you mean? To what degree of swingers? Man, I don't, I don't, yeah, I never, I never liked swing because one time I, my homeboy pushed me and I fell and shit and ate dirt at Applegate Park in Merced. I don't know what the swingers shit, right? So to what degree that... He's like, no, no, we're going to go to the gas station. We're going to get a couple of them thang things, the 9,000s, right? And then we're going to go hit this little swinger club and we're going to go swing a little bit. I said, well, to what degree of swinging? Because like I said, um, you know, I don't know. How, what do you swing around the rosy, pocket full of posy, ashes, ashes, we all fall down? I, I didn't know. He was like, nah, bro, it's not like that. You can go as a single man and there'll be a whole bunch of bottles talking about here, bum old lady. So I was like, for reals? He's like, oh, shit, bro, I'm a member. I'm a car carrying member. I was like, shit, you're not only the client, you're the player president. Let's go. So we took off. We get there. And I'm not going to lie to you, this was my first time. It was called a power exchange in San Francisco. For those of you that know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Um, we walk in that motherfucker and I'm looking around and I'm like, damn. All right, this is this cool. I'm, I see a couple of chicks. She got her tits out. And, you know what I mean? I'm trying to see what see what the Grand Canyon be like. You know what I mean? I've always liked going hang gliding. 
Um, so it looked cool. Um, needless to say, that was one of the greatest nights of my life. Now him, on the other hand, it was a little different. I'm here to tell the story of what happened. So we're in that motherfucker chilling. It's not a very, very big place, right? So there's not too many places you can go. Can't disappear on the homeboy, right? So I'm sipping on a little drink, doing my thing. And uh, I done already ran through about three or four chicks. I'm not, am I lying? I'm not, right? Guard, am I lying? I ain't telling the truth. Uh, how you know, motherfucker, right? Anyways, uh, my antennas were definitely twitching. I was, I was, I was riding it out, so I was doing my thing. Well, the homeboy was doing his thing. I seen him, he disappeared. Well, as I'm walking through this hallway, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'd be remiss if I lied to you. There were some characters there that looked real faulty. You know what I mean? To what degree of pronoun they had, I don't know. You know what I mean? But they just looked a little too Adam Apple-ish, right? Is that how you say it? The Adam Apple? Right? I just I just wasn't for me, right? So as I'm walking by, I heard this someone in a room say, hey. I said, no, right? And I kept on walking. I ain't into this shit. What is, what's going on here, right? What kind of people are these? Um... But my boy disappears on me. He disappears on me for about a good 45 minutes to an hour. And I'm looking everywhere. There's nowhere this man could have went, right? I'm like, damn, where's the homie at? He must really be getting it in. Oh, he was with old Adam Apple, right? Because when he came out of this place, I seen him. I said, hey, where were you, bro? There was nowhere he could have been. You know, in the meantime, I done got about three or four great mamons from Tortas. But I was like, hmm, to what degree of Adam Apple were you doing in there? He was like, no, you don't understand the way my Adam Apple list works. I said, no, 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 no. You got to understand here, bro. I don't get down like that. I, you, I came here to shorty swing my way. I didn't come here to to swing on the other side. But the, the, to me, that's that's not general population over there. That's that's the SMY arc. You're doing some weird shit over there, right? Um, he was like, no, nah, no, nah, I wasn't like that, bro. I was just merely getting a massage. I said, yeah, well, this will be the last time you ever go anywhere. And this will be the last time on earth that I ever fucking talk to you, right? Um... He indulged, I guess. I don't know. To each man their own, it wasn't for me. One thing I do know is that night was wonderful in the fact that I probably ran through about six, seven, maybe eight of them, right? Bad ones, bad chicks. Um, they were all chicks. I'm, I make sure that I did them. So can I look? I know, can I see your ID? You know what I mean? I need to know. Were you born fucking Amanda uh, hugging kiss? You know what I mean? Straight up, I need to know exactly what it is. Um, now, the whole thing with these rhino things is that I didn't stop there. I, I didn't fuck with the homeboy no more. He'd be at work like, hey, fool. You know what I mean? Hey, can you help me with this? this I'm trying to move this big old thing. And you're going to stay trying to move it? Tell, tell Adam with the apple to help you. Like he was helping you that night. Because like this night, this day, in particular, I'm the I'm the foreman, bitch. I ain't doing none of that shit. Guard, are we helping him? No. See, even the guard ain't going to help me. That's fucked up when they won't pass something for you. I'm good, right? Um, I didn't want to help him. And I, I kind of shied away from him. It's not because I, I'm... Phobic on any type of level, it's because you know what that is weird, right? That stand up, you know what I mean? To what degree of pronoun he is, uh -uh, you know what I mean? About this, he had a funny haircut. I should have seen it. But anyways, I, I I continued to do what I does. I went to a few more clubs, um, good ones, righteous ones, and did my thing. And I will say this, man, um, I had wonderful nights with that stuff. So let's get to the deaf chick, ah ah ah, right? So one night she's over at the pad, and I'm like, hey, you know what? And right over here, the next room, sad as fuck, right? I was like, man, I'm going to try one of these rhino things and see what it do like, right? Um, now, you got to understand, uh, she couldn't tell me no, you know, or yes. Um, all she could say was, ah, ah, or, oh, oh, or however she did it. But anyways, I was like, oh, it's about to be on and cracking right now. So I popped them. Mm, once you pop, you can't stop Pringles. I got my little Pringleization on, and she was in the room ready. And when I said, man, I wish I could show you guys, man, this, this, she's, she's, the wind blows with her, right? She, I got to, I got to be quiet, right? She's a torta. I mean, a super torta, but a fine one. You know, one just, she got the tortalization and all the right pleasantizations, right? In all the right places, I mean, the chinks and then eh, 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 bound when you fucking, you can just do that with them, juggle as they, I mean, it's just cool. It's real life. So anyways, um, she's there already looking good. I'm ready to love you forever. So I'm getting my Tevin Campbell on, only straight, right? What's happening? And uh, man. That probably was the greatest sex or the greatest uh, thing I've ever done in my life, me and this chick, because it just didn't stop. You know, not only was she she fine, I guess she was good to look at. You know, she, she's real, you know, she's a real pleaser, you know. Um, but at the same time, the groans and the, and the grunts I was getting, you don't know what it is, man, to really be getting in hearing, ah, ah, ah. It sounds like she's choking, but you're not even, you know what I mean, putting it in there. It was just different, but it was wonderful. 
Um, and that was my experience with those things. I wanted to give you guys a bedtime story about those things because not a lot of people speak on them. You know, a lot of people say, no, that's hazardous to your health. Don't do that. And I'm not saying do it. I'm saying the don't. If you can't handle it, don't. If you can't stand the heat, get about the kitchen. Who said that, Miss Marvelous and Sea Bubble? You don't lie. If you think I'm lying, go listen to Chinese uh, rap. Um, but what I'm saying is um, it definitely worked out for me. Like I said, um, it didn't make me more of a maniaco than I already am. It just it gave me the stamina to last, right? Because <laughs> uh, every man, uh, you know, will sit there and boast and brag, talk about, oh, man, I got an hour under my belt. I mean, it ain't nothing to me. You know what I mean? So you trip out. You know what I mean? So Sasuke, can you even fit that thing in there? Look, bro, real life, real time. A good about this is good for maybe 30, 45 minutes, right? But when you did the, when you were on the rhino, man, you thought you were a fucking rhinoceros in a real way. The horn was on swollenization, and, and it was just different. Anyways... Little bedtime story, something I wanted to put out there. True facts really happened. Like I said, man, the homeboy, I, to what, I, he, I, I can't even call him a homeboy or a friend. He was an associate. He's no longer uh, uh, in the circle of trust, but he definitely got his wiggleization on in uh, a different way that night. Or maybe he didn't. I don't know. I just assumed. But sometimes you have to assume some shit. Should I give him his due process? I don't know. I, I wanted to stay away and in that fashion. Anyways, and if you're watching this, homie, you only you know what you did. So I'm scared. I can't call it like an alcoholic. One thing I know is uh, don't fill me up with no one lead. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. I hope that you get every single thing that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the struggle, the strive to be real for your familia and yourself. Only you know what you go through, man. Only you know what it is, man. I hope I put a smile, a brief little smile on your face, man. I hope it was some comedy. I hope that you enjoyed yourself and you enjoy your day. You already know what it is. With that being said, if you like this, like and subscribe, thumbs up, Gunner's Profiles, you know what to do, like, if not, thumbs down, Heavy's going to be the head that wears his crown, I'm going to continue to strive and struggle but for what I honestly truly believe in, I believe it, do you believe it, guard, oh, uh, fuck, I guess, do good, man, be about your shit, man, come together as a people, that's all we have is each other, you know what it is, unless you're at a club that's kind of a little suspect, and all you have is a, a vato with a five o'clock shadow, then do something different. Anyways, the gun, bang, bang, and in that fashion.